Lesson five. So attendance part two today, ch the chapter five, chapter five video is only like 14 minutes. So much shorter than what you did last lesson. Then unfortunately, because of the way it worked out last lesson, you have three chapters worth of comprehension cues. Unless you already did this, the chapter three to four. But yeah, so attendance part three is actually getting all of these done. But they're multiple choice. There are only 10 questions per chapter. Should be pretty fast if you're paying attention during this chapter video slash audiobook. So without further ado, chapter five vocab. As per usual, jot down the ones that you don't know. But you're in pause. Savagely. If someone says something savagely, they're saying it in an angry way or maybe even viciously. Oh, shut up, she said, savagely, for example. Coolly, this is like the opposite. Calmly, without concern. Sure, go ahead and take my wallet, she said coolly, and then did a karate kick. I don't know. <laughs> Spectacles, that's what I'm wearing currently. Glasses, that's all it is. All they are, rather. <laughs> Oh, that's a good picture. Glasses, spectacles. Inclined. That would be interested or likely. So, mm, go ahead and take some chocolate if you're so inclined, if you're interested, for example. Uh, I'm not terribly inclined towards doing my homework, Miss Carlson. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not leaning towards it. Incline, an incline is also like, a slope. So uh, it can be leaning towards something. Yes, I'm inclined uh, metaphorically, and it can also be physically. The, the road was at an incline. Oh, I forgot to mention this last video, but flushed can be rosy cheeked, but also he flushed the toilet, <laughs> though you probably know that. All right, so not as many words, but more expressions this chapter. For oh, I forgot to mention this. Okay, so uh, I had explained this definition before I actually read the chapter myself. So the example, when it's used in the, in the book, it's when Edmund says to Lucy, it's a pretty poor sport standing here in the snow. Let's go home. So he doesn't mean like, He's not talking about someone who is a poor sport, who's angry about losing, but he means it's no fun. So I, I have never used poor sport in this context. I've always used it. It's way more common to use it in this context, angry about losing, but whatever. Taken aback, surprised. She was taken aback when she got an F. She was shocked, shocked and dismayed. Queer in the head means crazy. I've never said this phrase in my life, queer in the head. But I mean, it makes sense. Queer means strange. Um, although, I'm sh as I'm sure you know, in later, in more recent years, it's, it's, well, for a while there, it was an insult to people who were homosexual to call them queer. In other words, to call them strange, just bizarre. Um, but then the queer community took on the word to be a more neutral and even positive thing. So it's not an insult anymore to call someone queer. It's like just a, a neutral description. But in the book, it means crazy, queer in the head. At their disposal, available for service. If someone says, oh no, if a teacher says to you or requests something of you and you're like, I'm at your disposal, they'll be like, oh, thank you. <laughs> it's kind of a, uh, an elegant way of saying, what do you need? At your service. Sharp's the word. I've never used this phrase, but it means let's get away quickly. In other words, look sharp. Let's, let's go. And that's it. Take a moment to study. Anyway, it's a cute chapter today, and I hope you enjoy it. The adventure is about to begin. Let me know if you have questions. And if you finish early, please take a break and go outside. Oh, you know what? I have a suggestion. While listening to the audiobook, if you feel like you don't need to read the text, 
I mean, it's good for you. It's good for your spelling to read the text. Well, if you're like, you know what? I'm feeling antsy. Please listen to the audiobook while exercising. Like, do push ups, man. You're buff. <laughs> That's not the point. <laughs> the point is to feel healthy and to not go crazy. Anyway, uh, good luck. See you when I see you.